Fehle. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use mastic gum safely. This is a follow up video from mastic gum worked in three days for H. pylori, acid reflux, and ulcers. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll link that in the description below and also in the end screen so you can catch up and you know what we're talking about. At the end of this video, I shared about how to take mastic gum, and there were hundreds and hundreds of questions coming up in the comment section under that video. And this is what I created this video for to do like a QA style with all your gut feeler questions, answer them step by step, how to take it, when to take it, mistakes to avoid, any side effects, healing benefits. We're gonna cover everything you ask. And if you have more questions, always in the comment section below, I'm here for you. You ready for this? So let's dive right into it. The how, how to take mastic gum. Mastic gum is a powerful medicine and it can be used in two ways. There are really two ways to use it. As you use it in a traditional way as a chewing gum. So you literally get the raisin, I put your link down below to a raisin that it's natural. It needs to be the real mastic gum tree. The other option that is much more mainstream that most people do, they just pop a pill, is not what I recommend. If you want to take mastic gum internally, the only really way to go there is to open the capsule, if you buy it in the capsule form, open the capsule, put the powder into water, stir and drink. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you, answering one of the gut feeler questions, why I prefer one of those options and why exactly you can double down on the healing benefits if you use that option. But for now, let's get started with the first question from Denise, who asks, how many days should mastic gum be taken? Well, mastic gum is a natural remedy. That means it's not, there's not like one thing that fits everybody. It's more about you learning to trust your body and learning like to see the responses. In general, four weeks is a good time to see the first results. Like if you don't see anything after four weeks, you don't feel any improvements, it's probably not your medicine. This is important if you want to treat H. pylori or acid reflux, if you've got stomach pain, stomach ulcers, gastritis. It's not just taking that one thing, right? It's not like, mastic gum heals my life, it fixes everything. No, there's more that you need to do, especially regarding diet, lifestyle, stress management. Next question from Susanna. I'm curious why we shouldn't swallow the gum when the capsules are pure mastic gum too and we swallow those. Do you know? Yes. So Susanna, that's exactly why I recommend to start with option number one to do the chewing because it's more gentle and you will see the effect first. The most important thing from the tears from the resin is the zap that you chew out of it. And option number two, I don't recommend to swallow the capsule just like that. I recommend to dissolve it in water. Which brings us to a question from Martina. Should I stir powder from the capsule only in warm water or is cold water okay too? Yes, Martina, cold is actually best. If you're sensitive, you can also add it to a smoothie. And actually the Greeks, this is where it comes from, from Chio, from the island of Chio, they use it in baking. They use it in their Easter bread, they use it in other bakings, just as we use vanilla or cinnamon. Last question in the how area, will the small tiers of mastic gum work the same as the medium tiers? Yes, size doesn't matter. I recommend one flat teaspoon per serving, and it doesn't matter if it's small resins or big resins. Moving on to our next chapter, which is when. When to take mastic gum to get the best benefits for healing H. pylori, acid reflux, GERD, whatever you're dealing with. Ania, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Should I take it with food or can I also take it while fasting? The best way to take mastic gum for the best benefits is on an empty stomach, on a normal day while you're eating. I do not recommend to use mastic gum when you're fasting because your body is very, very pure. It's very sensitive. This is a strong medicine, even if it's from nature, but it needs some respect and it might just overwhelm your body completely. Yeah, if you don't eat anything during the day, you're just doing fasting for seven days or longer, maybe juice fasting, water fasting, dry fasting, which I do not recommend, video here, then I do not recommend mastic gum. We've got a question from George regarding celery juice and mastic gum. Maybe you are on the celery juice boat as well. It's a really protocol to be on. So George, if you're doing celery juice, you can do the celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach, 16 ounces pure fresh pressed celery juice, right? Amazing for killing H. pylori. Also got a whole playlist just on how to use celery juice. Might gonna link this up here. Then you do celery juice in the morning, you do not do, do at the same time or shortly after mastic gum. It would be just an overkill. So if you're doing celery juice, you do celery juice in the morning, then before lunch and before dinner. 
yeah, or early afternoon, two more times mastigam and once in the morning celery juice. By the way, God feeder, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, but what about this? What about this? Just post your questions down below. And if there are enough questions, I'll do another follow-up video to answer your question as well. Now, before we come to the bonus part, where I'm sharing with you like, which is the best option to start with and why you can double down on the health benefits. Let's talk a little bit about the healing benefits. What can Masticum do for you? I've got a question from John here, which I get a lot. Does Masticum eradicate H. pylori? The research is split down in the middle, so I want to know if it's helped anyone completely get rid of it. Well, if you have seen the first video on Masticum, where I talked about the Anna, one of my first clients. I just checked in with her recently. She had chronic H. pylori, stomach infections, also had trouble gaining weight. I checked in with her and she had a stun over the past couple years and there was no H. pylori detectable. Does that mean that there is no H. pylori ever gonna be in her stomach? No, because H. pylori is anywhere. You touch anything, you, you zip it. It's a pathogenic bacteria, but it's very omnipresent. So the idea, John, is not to just uh, get rid of the bacteria, kill the bacteria, I have to fill it in order for me to heal my stomach. No, it's more about can we make, can we support your stomach to be so strong that it can kill H. pylori and it doesn't cause any ulcers. There are millions and millions of people in this world, probably me included, who have H. pylori and they do not have any stomach issues. They don't have any gut problems at all. The combination is not, I have H. pylori, I need to have a stomach ulcer. Uh, uh, not the case. Focus on supporting your stomachs. The best way to do that is to start with diet and lifestyle and bringing in a few supplements, not supplement binging, but a few supplements. This is why I created the one week stomach healing challenge, which especially tackles H. pylori, acid reflux, gastritis, ulcers, stomach pain, stomach cramping, and indigestion. There you've got a good start on what to eat. You get a meal plan, simple recipes, so your stomach can just like, can calm down from all the agitation that it's been going through maybe for years. If you want to check that out, it's in the description below and also linked up here. Last question before we come to the bonus from Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Does it help with acid reflux without H. pylori? Yes. Yes, Yo-Yo. But again, you know, I don't want you to just take mastic gum and hope for the best. Like that's not, it needs to be part of a protocol. So just continuing to eating dairy and eggs and, you know, being stressed out all day and then taking mastic gum and they're like, oh, I don't see any results. Yeah, that's not working. You know, it's not just popping a pill. So yes, it also helps with acid reflux, even if you do not have like the test results for H. pylori. It's also amazing if you need to gain weight. As a lot of gut feelers, maybe that's you as well, have problems with gaining weight. They don't want to lose any more weight. They can't build muscle, they don't have appetite, maybe they have appetite loss. For those kind of cases, it's really good. That was the case for Anna as well, the client that actually introduced me to mastic gum. Okay, gut feeler, are you excited for the bonus part? This is a good one. So one comment under the other video was, I just tried regular sugarless gum, it definitely worked for me. Here's why this works. Because when you're chewing, no matter what you're chewing, your mouth starts to produce enzymes. Enzymes in your saliva that start to break down carbohydrates. This is like the first part of digestion starts here. It doesn't start in your stomach. Furthermore, when you're chewing, you're signalizing your intestinal organs like, oh, food is coming, so we better gonna start producing some enzymes. So your stomach produces hydrochloric acid, healthy stomach acid. Liver here, our big friend, produces digestive enzymes and secretes them into bile, which helps to dissolve fat. So there's a whole cascade of things happening just by you doing this. Now imagine, which is my favorite option, right? From the two that I shared, mastic gum chewing or the capsules and why? Because you double down on the health benefits if you do the mastic gum chewing. You train your awareness to chew more in general, but you also, it's not just the medicine that is coming from the, the zap, the healing juices. It's also stimulating all the digestive enzymes in your body. Saliva, carbohydrates, the stomach acid, your liver. It's a whole cascade that you can hone down on. If you haven't watched the first video on mastic gum, now is the time to do that. And if you already watched it, let me know in the comments below. What do you want to heal with mastic gum? Why are you experimenting with it?